everyone, my name is Natasha Lampkin, CEO and fashion designer of Tashi. Tashi is a Christian clothing line that promotes modesty in a fashionable way. Today I'll be doing a discussion about modesty in fashion and joining me in this discussion are my beautiful friends. First I'll talk to the ladies about their views of modesty in fashion, then I'll talk to the men about their views. Lastly, I'll bring them all together for the ultimate discussion. So. Let's get started. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. By the way, I'm wearing a romper by Tashi. Yes, it's a romper, not a dress. Yeah, modesty is fashionable. Okay, you guys, let's get started again. <laughs> we are who you are, what you are, so let's go. That's just right now, Lord, that we come here uh, with an open mind, Lord, and let us leave here in and I, Lord, I thank you all. I mean, I thank everyone for um, for coming here and um, joining me in this discussion and promoting um, your glorifying your name and uh, spreading your gospel. And um, I, I'm very grateful for everyone, and I'm grateful for um, to see. How many? So how much support I got for um, this event that I'm doing right now, and I thank you all. In Jesus name. Amen. <laughs> Hi everyone. Hi. Hi. How's everyone doing today? Great. 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 Thank you all for coming. So earlier I prefaced you all about um, what I'll be discussing today, which will be modesty and fashion. So when you hear the word modest. What is your first inclination? Cover it up. Yeah. Cover it up. <laughs> I'd say simplicity, simple, less is more classy, but I'm not going to Okay. Of potential. Women's clothing. Okay. 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 All right. Very cool. Okay. So for me, um, and thank you all for your feedback. For me, when I hear modesty, um, I um, my views goes it goes back to the Bible, and I'll read you a scripture. Okay, so it's First Timothy two nine through ten, King James version. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel with shamefacedness and sobriety not with broidered hair or gold or pearls or costly arrays, costly array, but which becometh women professing godliness with good works. So I feel like this scripture shouldn't be taken in um, a narrow view. And I feel like um, it's more in depth. You know, it's uh, basically illustrating that don't seek attention for yourself. Seek God's attention. So, um, with implementing that into fashion, I believe it's going against societal views. Okay? And, um, and you know, currently our society is all about sex sales. Okay? So, I know, for me personally, um, with my clothing line, I promote modesty in fashion. So, some of my friends, or people that I know, believes in Christ, they um in and out of the world and you know it's kind of conflicted between uh, societal views and God views about how you know how we should present ourselves in dress. So this is when I ask you guys this question. When if you are that person, what type of attention do you seek? 